Today on CBGs, Kim Kardashian surprises fans with shock appearance at Earth Kim's pop-up shop. Comedian Adam Hills defends cancel culture and urges comics to be more responsible. And lastly, Khloe Kardashian slams impossible standards set for her after unedited pic goes viral. Kim Kardashian fans were in for a surprise when the newly crowned billionaire appeared at Kim's pop-up shop in Los Angeles. The newly crowned billionaire made a shock visit to her Kim's pop-up shop in Los Angeles as she wowed fans while posing for pictures in front of the giant Kim's backdrop. The mom of four seems in high spirits during her appearance and could be seen getting her hair and makeup touched up in between each shot while she offered fans a smile and wave as she passed them while donning a nude shade face mask. At the event, Kim had been asked who the next Kardashian Jenner member would be to break into the billionaire club and she boldly stated that they will all be in it soon. Kim was named a billionaire by Forbes thanks to a large cosmetics and clothing interest as well as television um, endorsement deals and investments as well. According to Forbes, the newly single reality TV star is reported to have a fortune that jumped from $780 million to more than $1 billion. And also, Kim's shapewear brand, Skims, has boosted her fortune thanks to a massive deal which valued the business at an estimated $500 million as well. A majority stake in the business is said to be over $225 million or thereabout. Now, this makes her one of the richest people in the world. Well, that is a huge milestone. And talking about her popping up at a pop-up shop, let's just say she got to give the fans something. I mean, come on, newly crumble in here, here? On to the next, the last legs Adam Hill has said that comedians should start acting like grown-ups and also insists that the commission surrounding council culture has been taken a little bit too far. The comedian has weighed in with his thoughts on the apparent fear of council culture in comedy as the Australian comic argued that if you say something which loses your audience, then it's because you've probably said the wrong thing. The 50-year-old argues that the commission surrounding council culture has been taken a bit too far by people on both sides, that the audience himself and also the comedians. According to him, there are people who think cancel culture is more than it is, and there are people who think that, well, they can just ban stuff just because they can. Although he denied the claim that you can't say anything in comedy anymore, but instead insisted that comedians should start acting like grown-ups if they offend an audience. In his words, that's what the audience is there for, and if you offend them, well, it's not necessarily the audience's fault. The Last Leg O's is known for his political satire and social commentary on the show, and he often takes jabs and hints at politicians and figures in the media like Pierce Morgan, Katie Hopkins, and a couple of others. He also the show alongside Josh Whittacombe and Alex Booker, usually in the front of a live audience that's before the coronavirus pandemic hit, and he also admits that he had to take back seats on his shouty style comedy act because he felt it was just adding noise to the political turmoil that's going on. He previously presented the show between 2005 and 2011, and the show's former team captains Alan Bro and Miff Warhurst will also take part in the reboot of the show. Well, in my opinion, I feel sometimes everything said by a comedian on stage or wherever, in good faith, should be taken as just that, a joke. But at the same time, if it's considered, or should I say, seen as offensive to the audience, then it's up to the comedian or the comic to know how to address that issue. Because there are some things you say that might seem offensive to some people, and there are some things you say that might just fly right over their heads. Just saying. <laughs> And lastly, Khloe Kardashian has posted an unedited video and lengthy response to those who criticize her decision to get an image of her removed from the internet. Khloe has defended her actions following the mountain criticism over her efforts to remove an unedited photo from the internet. An unfiltered snap of the 36-year-old was mistakenly shared online earlier this week and quickly went viral. And the reality TV star team have tried to take the photograph which was showing her standing by a pool in a leopard prince bikini removed from social media. Responding to the controversy, Chloe posted a series of videos and statements on Instagram alongside the caption, Yes, I did a live to show you all this isn't photoshopped. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians star compared Instagram filters and good lightning and editing to makeup and having her nails done while she hit out at criticism. She shared a video of herself wearing only bikini bottoms and hiding her chest with her arm, and Chloe said it was to prove that her body was not photoshopped. In her words, as someone who has struggled with body image all her life, when someone takes a picture of you that isn't flattering in a bad lightning or whatsoever, you don't want them to share it to the world because you have every right to take it down or ask them not to share it regardless of who they are. She revealed that she's always felt pressure throughout her life 
labor the fat sister and she also knows that her life is not perfect but she tries to live honestly as possible with empathy and kindness one thing she admitted also was that it is almost unbearable trying to live up to the impossible standard that the public have set for her i will agree with her when she said that an edit here and there is not bad but trying to change the old picture entirely is not something that she wants that it sets impossible standards she also added that her body her image and how she chooses to look is something she wants to share and it's not for anybody to decide or judge what is acceptable or not the mom of one finished the post by telling anyone who may feel pressured about not being perfect enough that she understands how they feel as everyone is unique in their own way and she is not wrong big fat small tall short everyone is not the same thing the only thing you can do for yourself is to make sure you live healthily and that's about what we can take today on cb just with will to pay and until i come here next time you can join us on every of our social media platforms to let us know what you think on instagram at cameraboy.tv facebook at cameraboy official twitter at cameraboy tv ng and also like and subscribe to our videos on youtube and you can also hit me up on instagram at what's underscore and i am facebook and twitter and until next time guys keep staying safe